I think the most important one was how robust our supplier quality management is supposed to be and that we place the patient uh, in the center of our decisions so that we can ensure that we are delivering products that are safe, reliable and effective. And through that, we can reach our contractors that are, of course, key elements of our uh, supply chain so that through that supplier quality strategy, we can ensure that ultimate goal to protect the best interest of our patients. So, uh, as I said, putting the patient in the center of our decisions, working towards a robust supplier quality management strategy, looking into how mature our processes are, and also balancing the expectations of regulators at the same time, working towards efficiency gains at the same time, so that we aim constantly improving and transformation. And that will enable us to work more in predicting more, can be create better awareness on the risk out there when it comes to manage the quality of our contractors. So we decided to transform our processes right after the end of the pandemic when we have a huge pressure because there was a big backlog of audits to, to take care of. So there was a need to ease and optimize our resources. And that's why we look into IT products and process automation capabilities so that they can be the enablers so that we can release resources from repetitive tasks, non-adding value activities that we have to do in any case and rely on process automation to take care of them. And that's how we found the space so that at the end we can focus more on problem solving and engaging in quality and meaningful discussions with our contractors and then process automation taking care of those activities that were putting pressure into our resources. So we realized that there is a need to get closer to our suppliers beyond the standard activities like audits, discussions on quality remands or issue resolution incidents or events, but rather like get closer to them and setting partnerships like working with them, being there on site, beyond an audit, technical visit, business review meetings, but also trying to think whether we need a quality person in the site so that they can be our eyes there and setting quality to quality relationships. I think the closer you get to your contractor, the better. Of course, you need to balance the risk, the business criticality, and how important is this co contractor for your business and how you set your quality strategy so that you get connected. On the top of that, you need, of course, to work and line up with procurement and ESO that are the ones also setting those relationships so that quality can be considered a pillar of the strategy with the contractor. What I enjoy the most is having the chance and the space to have a dedicated forum for external quality. So quality dealing with contractors and suppliers. Usually we have more like this pharmaceutical quality assurance. It's a very broad and important field, but having a targeted space to work, to talk and share and exchange best practices, ideas, concerns, and the way we do things in terms of external quality was a great opportunity for us that are interested in the field. So it, I think that having that opportunity is uh, remarkable because we can set connections, uh, networks, understand what other companies are doing, what type of issues they're facing, how they are placing themselves and their strategies. And having that um, comprehensive view is, I think, a remarkable opportunity for us in the industry uh, so that we can also set this kind of in official partnerships, because at the end we are doing the same for more or less the same purpose, and may, we might not be engaging in business, but I think the summit is fostering that in official partnership towards a common purpose. Mm -hmm.